Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about four key points when it comes to miners at your premises and how you can stay on top of your obligations. Alright, so let's talk about ID. As best practice, always check ID for anyone who looks under 25. It's not going to hurt. And you know, they might even take it as a compliment. It's important to know what the acceptable forms of ID are in Victoria and what they look like. So they are an Australian driver's license or a foreign driver's license in the English language. Victorian learner's permit. Victorian proof of age card or an equivalent from another state or territory of Australia. A key pass card, including digital key pass. An Australian or foreign passport. A Victorian marine license. Now there's a lot more delivery of alcohol going on at the moment. So you need to know your obligations around that as well. Both the driver and the licensee are responsible for verifying the age of customers where alcohol is delivered. And if liquor is supplied to someone under the age of 18, both the driver and the licensee could be up for a fine exceeding $19,000. Secondary supply is also something that you might need to be on the lookout for. Now this is where someone over the age of 18 buys liquor for someone who is under the age of 18 and gives it to them. If you suspect that someone is buying alcohol for someone who is underage, then you should always refuse them service. Now finally, if you're a gaming venue, you can't allow miners on your gaming floor at any time. You also need to display a notice at every entrance to your gaming area that says that miners can't be in there for any reason. We do have a template for this and that link is below as well. So that's it. Four quick things about miners and your obligations around them. If you need more information, then visit the VCGLR website.